Hello everyone, my name is Carlos and with my classmates Marta and Jaime we've built up a team for competing in this TED Hack contest. Now our, teammate is, our team name is uh, Smart Campus because we've built up an application for developing well, new ideas in smart city sciences and especially in our campus here in uh, Madrid. And so, um, well, we're uh, we're involved in a City of the Future, it's an initiative by the Technical University in Madrid. Uh, it's built up several projects and in order to well, investigate in, the, in city sciences and in new ways of understanding um, any sort of um, function, function, functioning in, the, in cities. And so we've been working in our final projects in our, with uh, Professor Manuel Alvarez Campana. Uh, in, a, in a platform for creating smart city uh, projects that uh, will uh, try to allow us to understand the way cities work by trying to uh, measure the, the way cities work. And by that we mean uh, using sensors, as the way you can see in the, pi in the picture, and so basically using two kinds of sensors, sensors for environment and sensors for uh, seeing, for detecting Wi-Fi devices uh, that will help us see where people are. And so with those kinds of sensors, which can be built with using Tesla, uh, Matrix's Tesla devices, Arduino devices, Intel's Galileo and Edison devices, and also Raspberry Pi that we've been using, we can, we've built up a website where we can see all of the things that we've been measuring. So here's our first, our start page. We have a map, it's a mock-up, because we have some sensors, but they're not distributed geographically, but you can see how it would look like. We have some measurements that we have, like we can see the temperature that, we've, that we're measuring in a room, the, um, how many people there are in that room, Mm, how long people are staying there, how many devices have been on in that particular place from, from the day. And we can see more accurate measurements for our Wi-Fi activity in the next site where we can see a 24-hour graphic evolution, where we can see what devices have been on, how long they've been staying in that area. For our environment sensors, we also have some measurements like how the temperature has been for the last 24 hours, humidity, light, noise. So our sensors are allowing us to see this data and we are showing it here. Now for more advanced measurements, we have a private site that we're going to access. Now our plan is to allow for different kinds of privileges for users so that more advanced users can see like this. We can see how, our, how all our sensors are working, how many of them are on or off, depending on the type of sensor. So we can see the environment sensors, for instance, how many of them are on or off, or how many Wi-Fi sensors are on. Now, we can also see some more advanced uh, data from each of the services that we have. For instance, we can see for each Wi-Fi sensor if it's on and off or off, its ID, which is its MAC address, and we can also see some some specific data and even even so more advanced uh, graphics. Like for for this one, we can see a 24-hour evolution in our library here in the in this school. So you can see how people go to lunch and leave their place and now come back. And of course, at night nobody's there, and today people are coming back because probably tomorrow there's a big exam. And we can also access a sensor that we've installed right here where the hackathon takes place. And you can see how people yesterday were here developing and chatting. People left for the night and then they, come back. they came back this morning for the pitches that are taking place right now. Uh, for the environment sensors, we have the same features. So we can access each sensor separately and we can also, and well, that's an overview of our system and I hope you liked it and thank you very much for your time.